The New Haven families and friends of Brandon Jenkins gathered today to remember his life and what he meant to them. Brandon was found dead under ice at Edgewood Park in New Haven earlier this month. Fox 61's Lauren Zenzi spoke with community members who stepped up to support Brandon's family as well as the couple that discovered his body. A memorial service for Brandon Jenkins was held at the Dixwell Avenue Congregational United Church of Christ in New Haven on Saturday afternoon. The family mourning the tragic loss of their beloved son. So he was my companion. Um, he was always home and I miss that so much. According to Brandon's mom, he spent a lot of time at Edgewood Park going for walks and working out at the pull-up bars. When Brandon went missing, she took to the community for help and her story deeply impacted so many. And when they found him, I decided that um, it might be a really nice thing to get the community together since I had so many people following and do a GoFundMe account to help his mom uh, through this terrible terrible thing. Al Lotto, founder of the Page Hamden Crime Watchers, wanted to step up and help Brandon's family, raising them over $3,000. $3,032.57. Wow. I hope it helps. I mean, nothing replaces a child, but at a time of need, I hope I hope it's 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 a good thing. Family, friends, and community members visited the church to pay their respects, including the couple that discovered Brandon's body under the ice. I wanted to extend my condolences to the Jenkins family. He looked like a wonderful, wonderful kid, and uh, it's just very, very sad. The couple that discovered the body of Brandon Jenkins here at the Duck Pond at Edgewood Park said that they were just here on their weekly walk, but they decided to venture on the ice that day because it seemed safe to do so. And when they went on the ice, they discovered what they thought was a body, and later New Haven police confirmed it was the body of Brandon Jenkins. At first, it was a surreal moment. We didn't know, you know, even if it was, it looked like a body. We weren't sure if it was a mask. It was just, you know, a bizarre sight. You know, it's not, obviously, it's not something you see every day. Michael described the moment as surreal, traumatizing, and something he'll never forget. He was completely dressed, uh, fully dressed in his boots, pants, jacket. Um, and it, it looked like he was just out for a walk and just ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't know how much closure there could actually be, but you know, I'm sure hopefully what we did and what we found will help him get through this. Brandon's family wants him to be remembered not by this traumatic incident, but instead his love for helping others and trying to make this world a better place. Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News.